Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I have been looking at 50mm prime lenses, wide apertures or macro, all excellent lenses. However, when a member of my photography club suggested I consider manual lenses, because they are smaller, lighter, and quite fun to use, this triggered something in my brain. I made some research and today I would like to share with you an experiment that gave me a lot of fun. So let's travel to Paris, in a food market, and see how a Leica lens mounted on a Nikon Z50 camera performed together. First things first, here is my beloved Nikon Z50 with its excellent kit lens DX, 16-50mm VR IE stabilized lens. Both work very well together. However, the lens is neither super fast nor super bright. So I replaced it for the test. After removing the kit lens, I use an adapter as the Leica M mount differs from the Nikon Z mount. This one does not autofocus, it cost me around 20 US dollars only. There are several brands. You just need to make sure you use an M to Z adapter. And here is the marvelous Leica 35mm f1.4 Summerlux lens, a lens that I enjoy thoroughly, and that gave me some fabulous images. Leica lenses are highly regarded for their optical quality and their beautiful construction. The Summerlux with its f1.4 aperture is excellent for low light, and has the famous Leica pop effect. The build quality is excellent, the lens is made in Germany. It SS small and quite heavy and feels very solid in hand. The aperture is manual, as well as the focusing. Also, Leica M lenses do not autofocus, their minimum focus distance is 70mm, and they are very expensive. As you can see, it is very easy to mount the Leica lens on the Nikon Z camera, provided you match both red dots together. Here we are. Look at this. Beautiful. Effectively the 35mm focal lens is transformed into a 52mm lens on the Nikon Z50 crop sensor, an ideal focal lens for close-ups. So let's go out and have some fun. Now in Paris. The market is a long, narrow alley, with merchants on both sides. It can be densely populated, and dark in some areas. Testing the bouquet at f1.4 aperture. The background is nicely obliterated. In France, food matters. Here the small form factor helped me come close. The Leica pop effect. Look at these colors. Some areas are dark and crowded. I enjoyed the f1.4 aperture. Fish or seafood. By now you should be pretty hungry. Paris the city of love prefers cash rather than credit cards. So, in conclusion, the small form factor, the need to slow down with manual focus, the large aperture and beautiful bouquet. All this reminded me the good old time and was good fun. And you my friends, do you also mount older lenses on your modern cameras? This ends our review. We thank you very much for your support to our channel.